right here, stand by your side. Open up your heart and let me in. I promise not to break you. I promise I'll be all, all that you want. So let
Viz. Oh. Welcome in everyone to day two of the SCS championship, our final round of groups and the kickoff of our absolutely insane playoff bracket will unfold here tonight. I am your host for the evening somber and joining me today is the man contending for best hair on the SCS broadcast, the ever wonderful D'Lo. D'Lo, how are you tonight? Feeling great, man. Glad to be back in action. Glad to have Ground Zero with us as well. Been a while, buddy. Aaron joining us hey. for the fun, man. It's going to be a good night. Going to have some good sets ahead of us. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, speaking of, the man who has been putting absolute overtime hours here on the main channel and the B stream, it's Aaron. Aaron, how are you? Oh, I'm feeling well and fantastic. And like I say all the time, I've been waiting for this for the whole day. I've been hyped out of my mind for this. Um, I woke up a bit late though, but that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm still very hyped for this. And I think everyone here on the desk and everyone who's casting today is also very hyped for this championship uh, weekend. Yeah, and not to be outdone, we have our final elite ball knower here on the lineup. It's the ever lovely Ground Zero. What is going on, mm -hmm. Ground Zero? Oh, doing absolutely amazing, man. I just came off drinking my protein milkshake today, and I am freaking pumped right now. You can tell I'm awake by the amount of <laughs> protein I've taken. So it's been a bit since I've been back on spade, but all, also, all, you know, just always lovely to be having here, you know, just to be casting with you guys. Just some amazing uh, people on the production talent, as always. Hey, my boy, D'Lo, thanks for the shout out as well, homie. I can tell you're awake by the way you're not blinking or moving. Exactly. <laughs> you know, that's really like, impressive. I'm doing the mannequin, mannequin challenge right now. You know, yeah. I was like, you're I just doing a great job. I was just thinking that, bro. I was literally <laughs> thinking that in my head. You're, you're killing it, bro. You're killing it. Yeah, not even the mouth moving when he talks. It's just complete it's, stonewall. It's, he's impressive. Everything. I, I, impressive. I, thought, I thought, why not engage and, you know, learn some tricks in ventriloquism? So I'm just trying out some new stuff, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you got to add some I'm more tricks master. to the tool belt. That'll be a real nifty one to bring out of a LAN. They just cut to the player, or to the, the caster cam while you're commentating at a LAN one time. And it's just no mouth movement. But they yeah. hear the hype. It's going to be so impressive. But... We are here for day two. Day one was quite a flurry of upsets and intrigue. So let's go over that real quick. First off, let's talk about this Pip squad. Pips went clean through their group, going 4-0 and on the day so far, taking wins over the likes of Little Birds, No Idea, and Next Level Knights, formerly known as Pirates on a Bot. They did a little bit of a rename there heading into it. Want to make sure they get that, that you know, new nameplate buff for the whole squad, right? Uh, they're looking to secure the one seed in Group A, just needing a win over Patty Formula here to do that. Uh, starting off the day, they had Risky stepping in. First time we got to see them, they look fantastic. Skippy looked great. Resno was peaking. This Pip squad is looking back to form. Looks better than ever. D'Lo, you were there on the cast for that reverse sweep that dropped them out of round one of the major, albeit a bit of a different roster, but with them starting out very hot. Do you feel like this team can keep up that momentum? Um, given history, like, yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm going to say yes. I, I do I do believe they can. You just got to make sure that you don't let it get back to that point. It's really about mental game, in my opinion. And I just want the back of casting some ones today so i think the difference is you got two other people in your corner that can lift you out of that funk if we start to see the mentals take their toll so make sure you're communicating make sure you're talking you've got a team for a reason yeah just got to keep it locked and dialed in and you can go ahead and make a run here as we kind of expected out of the major but like i said that one hiccup kind of just ruined that run off rip but they're looking mm -hmm. at, again back to form Back to formula, they, they went back, they're all peaking. It's looking great. Uh, following pips in that group, we do have, as it stands right now, Next Level Knights, No Idea, and Little Birds currently behind them in the group to make playoffs. In this final group stage round, we do have Little Birds and Peeps fighting out for a fourth seed, No Idea, and Next Level Knights fighting for that two seed after pips. Uh, Aaron, with a very interesting last round here in group A, it's not only deciding seeding between next level knights and no idea, but including an elimination game for these two squads and peeps and little birds. You got to think that with G man now on the roster for little birds, they have the on paper advantage, but do you feel like peeps are up to the task to squeak into the playoffs here? I mean, at this point I can literally see every team on group a or B Unless last minute, of course, like squeaking through in that playoff bracket. Every single team has 
run through every single region or every single major to try to get to this point and no one's gonna give up early and especially the core here i mean i'm just gonna brag about them again because they were my underdogs from yesterday and they are doing a very good job and well i can like i said i can see literally every team making a huge comeback to go through the playoffs here even Betty formula who are literally 0 and 3 down who can get through with a miracle beating well, if they can beat Patty Formula and uh, Peeps here. But that's up to them. I'm... It's going to be an art one. Yeah, it's definitely not going to be easy to make the playoffs through this absolutely stacked Group A. But we have an even possibly more stacked way... Or stacked group over on the side of Group B. Taking a look at that, they are a little bit more set in stone with some FF wins here throughout last night. But namely, the headline here is the core. Like Aaron said, they went four in one with wins over Spate and Silly Billies in what was apparently a Dirtho masterclass all night. But Ground Zero, I just want to put this a little bluntly when I ask you this. But looking at this roster, is this squad contenders or are they pretenders? Ooh. Contenders or pretenders? Do you mean specifically between the last minute of the core or which one? I forget. <laughs> just, <laughs> I just, just, just for the core, because they they yeah. have come out and I mean four and one in a group with both Silly Billies and Spate, the only teams that have gone back to back in regionals and have won majors. Uh, is that maybe just a little bit of a fluke or are they just dialed in for the championship? Well, looking at the rosters, the roster filled with Stally and Vivid Dirtho, right? So if, if you put those kind of like names in in the lobby, you're you're gonna you're gonna see a masterclass, no doubt. And if Dirtho is already going back to back, he's a very very consistent season player, right? So if you're expecting to see something from him, more than likely a, sp a good one of the spotlight should be shined on him. I don't really think they're pretenders at all. I think they have if they're here, they have the potential to do it. It just matters on the day, and that day is now. So can they deal with the pressure? Is the bigger question, and I'm I, I'm hoping that the latter is is the case here for the likes of the core to be fair okay. yeah well whichever way you shake it they are your one seed out of that uh we have seen some some noise and absentee from most of the top eights from that team uh this last split now turning up the juice when it's needed for the championship the core will be your one seed like i said Following by a spate, pause up, and empty space. Those four all together are locked for playoffs. But in that group, we do have pause up and empty space. They will face off in their round five matchup here shortly on the main broadcast to determine some seeding here. And speaking of stream games, we do have two streams going on to wrap up this group stage and going into the playoffs here. All playoff matches will be streamed between today and tomorrow uh, on broadcast up first and on our B stream will be next level nights versus no idea running concurrently as our broadcast of pause versus empty space goes here so if you'd like to catch either or both of those games the b stream can be seen over at twitch.tv slash somber underscore ttv a little bit of a shameless plug but also just where we were able to host the b stream <laughs> uh but let's delve a little bit deeper into the this pause up and this empty space matchup coming up shortly here looking at the teams overall uh dilo looking at this matchup it looks like a pretty clear choice in the battle between a number five seed and a number nine seed, but historically pause up. They struggle and somewhat play down to their lower seeded teams and are prone to an upset and the likes of empty space. They have a really high powered offense that we have seen pretty consistently. What do you like for either side of the matchup here? You know what? Yes. Pause up to that reputation. Last time, at least I was on the cast with them up to bat. It was them up against tiny birds. Granted, it was a close seating there. They still managed to keep firm. They managed to hold momentum and they ended up taking that set pretty convincingly over the Tiny Birds. So in that sense, I've got faith over that set for pause up. I've got faith that maybe they're trying to turn that reputation a little bit around. Of course, recency bias is going to be standing in for me there a little bit, but it's hard to beat reputation. I think they're starting to combat that. So my thumbs are up for pause up. Yeah, Paws Up are definitely a, a really good team. You got the likes of Taco Stash, Slayer, Duckworth, Right, it, it's two two names that are consistent in the CRL scene, and of course the upper bubble as well. Duckworth starting to burst onto the scene, but it's that question mark of it, can they can they get things done in the big moments? We've seen it ups and downs with that. Uh, and with that being said, Aaron, this is purely for seeding. Both these teams are going to make the playoffs. It's now just who is going to get the more 
quote unquote favorable matchup, even though that it's not going to be favorable for most mostly teams in the top eight. It's going to be a coin toss because everyone is just so stacked and they know each, each other so well by this point in the competition. But uh, do you feel like this is going to be more of a warm up game for these two squads or are there going to have a little bit more weight behind it and play it almost as if it was an elimination game? I mean, I, I, I mean, I think these teams will li just play like uh, uh, how they were, even if there is something on the line, right? I mean, there's nothing on the line at this point, but well, there is kind of seeding, but well, they of course want that higher seed because easier opponents, right? So they're just going to be battling for it either way. They want to win this game and it look, just looks better when you have more games won for your next opponent. Yeah, and, and looking at that, if they do take a win here, whichever team ends up with a win, uh, you will either face off against No Idea or Little Birds. So, I mean, is it oh. really that favorable when that's your opponent coming up after this? We will see. Uh, but, Ground Zero, matchups mm -hmm. are key here. And highlight players play well into those matchups. Just being better than everyone in the lobby, it seems. We've seen two players on both sides with pop-off and dominant potential We've seen gear on empty space. They could just take over a series by themselves single-handedly. So can Duckworth. Do you feel like this will be the tale of who can peak harder or will it be more of your traditional team effort in this series? I think a healthy balance of both is, is in question here. Like, it, you know, we love putting in the MVP players, but it, like you said, it's always a team effort when it comes into this. Everyone has to bring their A game, and it's only like minute differences between these two teams, which will separate, which, you know, which one will stand up on the top at the top of the podium at the, at the end of the day, no matter what. Like you said, Crave, Gear, Kamikaze, Aug, those are fantastic names from the side of Paws Up, Slayer, Takushtash, Duckworth, as you said, and they got the sub in as Arsenal. Uh, you know, those are, that's you know the crl legends versus you know consistent uh, overall comp grinders and you know it's uh, it's it kind of like feels that separation only depends on you know small mistakes maybe in rotation maybe in defense maybe a slip up somewhere right and uh, this the more than likely we're seeing game fives all across the board which is more than likely probably what's going to happen in my opinion yeah it'll definitely be interesting to see a game five we saw plenty of those yesterday so i'd like to keep the trend going the same we love the content here on the desk uh but we are just going to have to stall for time a bit. We're waiting on some players to go ahead and get in the lobbies. You know, it's it's a Saturday evening. These guys have a life outside of Rocket League, whether you'd like to believe what? it or not. Oh. <laughs> but let's, uh, let's, let's also talk about this next level Knights team. They came in as our number one seed here. And uh, right now they're trailing behind Pips. They did lose in five to them last night. Um, Dilo, do you feel like after what we saw in the major, them making it to the grand finals and taking that spate team that was so dominant to six games that maybe that one kind of, you know, it's a toss up in a game five and we lost to Pips. Do they lock in going into playoffs here? Do you like them still as that touted number one seed or have you uh, maybe seen some results in the bracket that sway your opinion a bit more? Nah, in this case, I'm going to say it firm. I normally am one to root the underdog story and just try to you know, uplift those who are beneath, but I think one seed is a, it's a big, well, not a big number. It's actually quite a small one, but as far as the standings <laughs> go, it's an awfully big indication of your skill. Nah, I don't see it. There's been not that much time between it as well. Unless there's been some major beef going on, someone's been just like messing around there in the chat, some toxicity, some heat gets going within their own enemy lines, then I don't see it being dislodged, really. The first seed stays the first seed. Yeah, well, they will have to fight through as the uh, two seed, as Pips, unless they lose to Patty Formula, they will be the one seed here. Um, and then taking a look over at that new No Idea squad, we saw uh, Aaron that them with Turbo was able to reverse sweep Pips. They made a roster change. They played yesterday with Brock. Do you feel like that is maybe still the case going into today? And if they see some improvement or if we possibly see you know, return back to formula. You go back to the, the winning, the winning structure of bringing turbo back in. I mean, that's a hard one. Why do you always give me the hard questions? Eh? Because I, I, I gotta make you have these hot takes, man. So that way I could just bring it up and roast you later. Everyone needs a villain. <laughs> Every cast needs a villain. Yep. Yep. Unfortunately, so it's you. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, uh, okay. So, <laughs> I mean, the way I saw Brock play last night, he was very, he was very solid on defense. I just didn't see his offense popping out as much, but that's fine. You've got two very mechanical players like Scythe and Waves on your team who's who's gonna cover that offense. And no idea. I mean, their their side is just phenomenal. They are on well a shared place three now. Are both going one in three. They do need that win against the Peeps, which is going to be a huge decider because that's one of the teams they're tied third with. And I don't see them having any problem running through the Peeps with that team. But uh, yeah, they're their last matchup going for a seeding, of course, which is going to be against next level Knights, uh, which also isn't the most easy matchup of all, but... I don't I don't I see them at least going two and three here if that's enough going uh, forward I can definitely see them doing good in playoffs if that was the question I didn't really understand it <laughs> but that, uh, what a, a villain bit. indeed <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna listen to the, the the question I'm just gonna say what I want about the teams but yeah, uh, I yeah. match admining <laughs> I was match admining <laughs> it's all good we're all good uh but yeah Looking at, of course, at that squad that's going to be uh, hi highlighted and showcased over on our on our B stream. I feel like this is yet another potential playoff match. Like this could very easily be a oh, semifinals yeah. or grand finals match. So, Ground Zero, do you feel like both of these teams are going to kind of just put it? all out on the line you're fighting for that two seed where you're fight fighting for that first round buy in the hybrid bracket or is this you just kind of stick to your your winning formula and hope that that works out and you kind of save some things for that playoff bracket now see if it were me playing on the, on the lobby itself i would have to say like go all in but Knowing the players, they're gonna go for a more structured play style. They don't want to risk it too much. They're definitely gonna put the the you know the the uh, the pedal to the metal, uh, no doubt about that. But sincerely trying to pull it all in right away without conserving your stamina, because this is a long day of tournaments overall as well. You still got until tomorrow too, to be honest, right? So looking at that, I, I think they're gonna go play for the long game instead of just think short term, you know. Yeah, you, you play for this match. I feel like every team is going to take this one match at a time. You're not going to look too far ahead. You're not, not going to look past any of your opponents or feel like anything is uh, a given. Um, and it's going to be very interesting to go out throughout the night, uh, especially with seeing, you know, Silly Billies and Last Minute not in this patty formula. They're not having the best run of things. I feel like we still are getting a top eight that they can go game five, game seven every single time. Um, but unfortunately I, I feel like we, I, I think we just got some confirmation, um, that we are not going to be seeing this empty space match. They, they are, got 20 seconds. <laughs> they, they, I, we got some confirmation from, um, Dang. from, from Crave. Uh, they are, they, they, they were able to make in time. They still qualify for playoffs, but they're going to go ahead and just, uh say you know what we're gonna play playoffs we're, we're gonna lock in for that uh but hey scheduling issues it is what it is sometimes things happen it's life so we're going to actually after we had all that talk and uh glad that we highlighted on this next level nights match but we're going yeah. to throw it to a quick break as soon as that is live on the b stream we will be watch partying it here so you guys will be able to catch that on either the b stream or stick around here and we'll still have that live feed up for you but for the time being, we're going to go on a bit of an extended break, and then we will have our next matchup, starting with playoffs. Oh, sorry, 11 scythe to kick off. 
pretty equal as Waves will try to win it, go to the ceiling, playing it down to Brock, who takes it off the backboard. Waves not going to be able to follow. Lev now up to the right wall. Already starting off quick. Both sides have already seen some action, but Ball currently hovering in this no idea side. They get a clear out. Brock will play it down. Ball boost will work with on the sidewall. Finds a beat over one. Ball floating dangerously above the net, but Lev was able to get up in time. And Knight actually finds a beat on the scythe. And Lev will collect it on the right wall. Gets a good 50. Studies with it. Takes another 50 with waves. Knight up quick. Not faster than Brock, though, as Brock will try to play to the blackboard. Waves trying to follow. Won't happen. Cut out by Nex. Nex will follow this ball down on the right side. Knight. First touch, good. Second touch, challenged out by Waves. And this pressure is building on this no idea half. Yeah, not coming out of the Knight. Not able to make contact there as Lev. Trying to get a shot on that Knight. Threatening demo and next there with follow but going off the backboard with that safe from Brock. So trying to keep this pressure up. Left finding the boost on that left hand side. Can't find that control though, but Knight there for the 50. No, Scythe up, left, keeping it close, still has all the boost to work with. Gets it past one, has the bump, but a pinch coming out, Knight, keeping it close. Waves though, trying to find this clear. Very important for this night, no idea team. They don't want to let next level knights have too much pressure. They don't want to let it build up and just find a goal over time. But still. Scythe finding a bump on his own teammate. Ends up working out, but he kind of falls right into the net. But Brock still gets back to the save. Level though, turning another, but Scythe able to put it out into that left side. Trying to follow it up. Nine boosts to work with. Might have a double here. No. And then now, next level Knight's already keeping up that pressure. My goodness. That was a nail biter for a second. We saw, I'm not sure who it was, but on the rotate back, I believe it was Brock who bumped Scythe. But as I'm trying to analyze it, it doesn't matter. Waves finds the open net and will slot it away. No one home for next level Knights. Not really it looks sure like happened. a little bit of an overcommit yeah. for next level Knights. That right side, I have no idea. Maybe they got bumped or something, but I, I don't know why nobody was back. But anyway, one goal, one goal two minutes or three minutes of playtime. I ain't trying to equalize. Won't go, but Lev with a possession here. Gets one reset. Finds a second. Finds a third. Scythe with a quick save, though. Next, trying to put it back. As this ball is played down in front of the net, Lev popping it, missing. And Scythe will chase the bump. Next, will challenge it out anyway. Knight to the corner. Take the 100. Miss the ball on the wall. Leaves it for his teammate. Takes a 50 mid. And Brock... Rotate out, leave it for Waves. Scythe, trying to challenge this ball. We'll find it up the sidewall. It bounced down. Waves, not reading it correctly, but Brock, with a possible shot, ends up placing it high. Brock getting a good 50 to Scythe. Scythe trying to make something happen. Knight won't let it. Pops it out. Now, Knight's in, tran in transition, trying to get something started. Brock needing this clear. Lev not trying to give it to him as Knight will pop this into the backboard. Next with a follow, fake down low, takes the 50 mid, and Knight with the possible challenge out, but not quite enough boost to work with. Brock with a great double touch off the ceiling down to... I'm not sure who the shooter was, but that was a great play. To the corner it'll go as their offense is fading away. But though, has 100 boost to work with here. Lev quickly close on him. Two coming out from next level knights there in this battle of the right wall. Everyone just trying to keep possession. No idea, just trying to run down the clock at this point with that one goal advantage. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how many goals go in, it matters who wins. And so, no idea with the lead, just keeping it up a night. Has a strong touch to the corner. Should be a free ball for Brock. Pops it up. 60 boost to work with. No one else contesting. Has his first slip. Gets down it over to one. Scythe. Down to five. Gets it in. Quick little passing play. Pays off for no idea. Beautiful play here from Brock. Pops into the air, knows he has time. Reset left, Scythe with the slot away as Brock tries to bump next, who is forced to have to jump for that. And 2-0, Knights down with a minute left in the game. Yeah, here's too much toilet time for Lev there. Next level Knights looking a little cold as that one almost goes top left shelf. But next level Knights not likely to find an answer for this game. Kind of just have to go back to the drawing board and try to refocus for game two. They have plenty of time been... to maybe find a tying goal. They need one now, though. Backs are against the wall for sure in this game one. Yeah, Lev has to make a play here, but unable to find the 50. I think next level Knights, I think 
a lot of misplays coming out. You've been seeing a lot of missed contacts, just really hurting the team, having a lot of jumbled rotations because of it, everyone having to commit for each other. They need to just start finding that control, take that extra little second in order to just make sure their plays are going in the right direction, making sure they have each other to trust them and just make contact to each other, you know? If, if you're not making that first initial contact that everyone's expecting, it, it just throws the entire play out of rock, out of rhythm, and you really need to just start finding your groove if you're this next level next team. First touch is critical, and as 10 seconds, uh, we enter the final 10 seconds of the match, this game is all but over. And no idea we'll take game one over next level nights. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Expected Knights to put up more of a fight than they actually ended up giving, but fight nonetheless. Not even able to get that. They they had a very close net uh, towards the end of the game there, but not able to find the momentum heading into the next one. Cookie saying it's okay, it's a warm-up game. Well, according to all the casters and according to Cookie partially, this is the one game no idea it takes. Maybe nice level Knights find the rhythm, but... No idea, actually having decent performances, even despite that one bump, they've been having some great plays. Like, you think of the bump uh, with, with Scythe rotating back, bumping Brock in midair, Brock still right. floating down, right. getting the save, and then jumping back in to get the follow-up. They have been having some some great plays, some great saves. Uh, yeah. They are looking hot right now, straight off the bat, and that could be very deadly against uh, a cold starting uh, next level Knights. As we jump into game number two here, next, and Scythe to kick off. Next will win his heart into the corner, back to Waves. Waves popping into the other side of the field to Scythe, who will collect it off the sidewall. Gets a massive musty flick, and that almost finds the back of the net. And Waves will be there to punish off of Nexus miss save. Say, uh, Nex not able to quite get it to the corner far enough, and it will pop up right in front of his net. And Waves quick to punish, faster than Lev could get up to save it. And that'll open up the scoring 10 seconds into the match. Knights already down a goal. Yeah, so it's just having a great musty there. Next felt like he had to just go really fast for that one, not having the best of touch and left just too far to get in the way of waves there. Now, for no idea, this is three unanswered goals. They just have to, they just keep putting on that pressure. Next level Knights have to find that response. It's imperative that they find this first goal. Find their momentum. But, you know, ball is just going out, starting to hit it left and right. No one there to find. You know, they just need to start linking each other with these plays, but no idea, just all over the field. You know, initially in that first game, oh. no idea. Oh, this might go in, but no, just saved away. But no idea in that first game with that first two minutes and a half. Felt like all the pressure in the world was against them, but suddenly with a clean break, we're able to just keep up pressure after pressure. And now it's next level Knights on the back foot. 100% the next level Knights are on the back foot. They are putting up a great fight. They're only down a goal. Definitely comebackable. Very tieable. But no idea does not want to give that to him, that is for sure. As Knight has his air dribble reset, Brock won't let him sight the redirect, and that's 2-0. A minute and 15 in, and no idea, are letting Knights know they are not to be messed around with. Beautiful little redirect from Scythe there. I mean, Scythe, one of those players that people have been looking at for a long time. Such, so much talent, and so much so young. Um, has already made a name for himself, so established. Um, and, you know, looking to take the tournament here. That was all very fast, but just not quite on target. And still in the hands of Brock, as Brock trying to go across the field, not getting in the way. Still, though, no one there to follow up for next level Knights. Just plays being broken, just one man going up, but no idea. Constantly there, just tighter rotations. It feels like next level Knights are very spread out here. They need to start breaking up the rotation for no idea here, or just finding those long clears. Just really punishing that close group play. But as of right now, the next level night is just very far from each other, not really able to just get to where they're needed. 100%. Uh, we have a shot chance from Knight, and he'll find the left side of the net. 1-2. Knight's now looking to equalize off a fantastic pass from Next. My goodness. Knight passing it up. Next with the jump off the ceiling, back down to Knight. We'll put that ball left side of the net. No defender able to reach it. Yeah, that has to start feeling good for NLK there. You know, having just, I believe, four goals that they weren't able to answer to until now. Um, finally able to get that first one in the back of the net. Just, you know, at the end of the day, the, all of these players are phenomenal. They, the pressure will never get to them um, this early on. 
but you know just getting the momentum early you don't want to be down two games against a team like no idea because it's very likely that they're undertaking a third at some point so next level knights has to start working up here but an amazing save coming out from that no idea defensive have brock and then Scythe just keeping that ball out you know really good pressure for nlk but not able to find the mark but knight trying to take it over one ways putting it safely into that corner Scythe versus left Scythe wins it out brock there to follow up Good 50. This is going to float dangerously above the net, but Waze getting a nice touch out to Brock and Brock just looking to clear it far and wide of the night. Perfect control here. Has that boost in the corner, but on the ceiling, Brock, no boost, just forcing this ball out. But next, they're waiting. Not the cleanest of touches. Actually able to follow with the double. Waves not making contact there. Lev looking for a shot, putting that right side. Next, couldn't find the bump, and now Waves now trying to start a counter attack for no idea. Lev with boost and in the corner, fakes one. Next, trying to collect now. Leaves it for Lev, will pop it into the air. He has boost to work with, trying to find it over Brock. He's off for the bump. Waves now forced to have to make that clear. Knight is going to hit into that corner. Nothing will come of it. There's no idea we'll get the clear downfield. Next, popping it up once more. Brock with the challenge. Lev now forced to make a play of his own. This is the double, so Scythe will be able to take a touch. Knight reading it. Now Brock dunking two players. On this Knight squad, going for the bump on the last, but Knight barely able to rotate back in time. As this ball's cleared right back downfield to no idea it's half. Scythe off the backboard, full boost to work with. 50's Knight. Lev is quick to follow, and two players miss from no idea. Waves is up quick to contest. As Scythe is trying to find a way through this Knight's defense. Lev collecting on the sidewall. Offs not to go for the musty flick, but goes for it on the flick instead. And Scythe will collect this. Not much boost to work with. Knight with a quick challenge. Lev with another quick challenge. He'll bump the third, but nobody from that no idea squad believed that that's what he was, what he was gonna be capable of doing with zero boost. As this ball is slammed off that corner wall, next trying to punish. Down to Knight. Nothing will come of it. Scythe now up the sidewall. Hits it over one. Trying to fall into his zone. We'll demo Knight in the process. As Waves tries to play this one middle to Brock, who will pop it up mid for Knight, who fakes it down to next. This ball we cleared straight into the corner and kept there. As no idea will take. Game number two, and Knights, not the result we were expecting from them, but it's the result we've gotten so far. So, what do you think, JJ? I'm thinking that, you know, you most likely what's happening right now, slow start coming out of NLK. I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I, I think I was a bit wrong earlier. Due to NLK, no matter what, they can be swept this series. They probably are still guaranteed second seed due to the fact that they have a higher game differential. So maybe they're just not trying as hard, but I think that, you know. Uh, I, thought you... <laughs> I thought you said they're guaranteed to get swept this series. I was like, what? No, Hold no, on. No, 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 no. Uh, not guaranteed. I, I think they're guaranteed to take second seed no matter what. Gotcha. Um, so, but, you know, it, it's not bad to just have a hard start, you know, a, a hot start heading, you know, into the rest of day two. You know, it's only the first game of the day. Um, and no idea, showing really good signs of life, you know, getting this really good warm up in. But, you know, there's been many moments where you kind of just question what NLK is doing, you know. With that demo coming out on the back line, having an open net for left for the most part, just has to get a light touch over. But no, opting to just go for the musty, not really getting it. It's like, okay, they're not taking us seriously as they usually would. They're not necessarily playing for the win, but it's yeah, okay. It's interesting that yeah, you say that because now next level Knights have only scored once in two games, whereas No Idea has scored four times. And... You gotta start to wonder. Well, there you go. I was gonna say, when are you gonna? When are they gonna turn it on? When are they gonna demonstrate? Hey, we deserve to be at the top of the bracket, and we want that number one seed. Yeah, no, next, next level night. Was that next that opened that? Was did that backflip? Yeah, he plays over that. That was that was a crazy shot. Yeah, no, it was a great pass. Just next in the right spot at the right time, and you know, doing the right thing. Um, no, and okay. Finally, just starting to show, okay, I guess it's time for us to get serious. Hopefully, they keep up that momentum. That was a great first play to start off. Lev with this challenge. Going to go to the middle of the field. Waves, an answer back, though. Tight. 
Off the crossbar, oh can't God. get a 50, bounces on the side, on the post out, scythe, post out, Brock. There able to show them how to shoot it inside the net and able to finish it for this no idea squad. Holy, now that was clean up on aisle 10. Brock coming through to blast that one bottom left corner. And we'll go to equalize game now. Basically 0-0 with a four minute Rocket League game instead. This Knight will challenge that off the top of Wave's car. And next now, no boost to work with, but a ball collected nonetheless. Trying to get a flick. Obstalia for Knight. And this ball hover in the corner for a moment. Scythe up quick, but Knight with a quick dunk. Wave's trying to collect. Not going to happen as next. We'll look for his second goal. Won't go, though, as Lev will try to place that one top shelf. And he will. I mean, Beautiful just, pass. Or first pass. Gorgeous coming out for the NFK side. Having two demos before then. Just really freeing up open the night. You know, I said it before. No idea team loves being close to each other. Loves playing for each other. And so getting rid of two of the players. Just putting so much pressure on there. And then just, you know, next initially with that first touch. Really just wanted to throw oh. off the defenders. Trying to find space. Not yet. Almost thinking that in. But NOK finally starting to find their group. Finally starting to find the answer against this no idea team. And then again next with another goal. Yet yeah, Knights really turning it on this game. They are showing now exactly what I said earlier, that they they are not going to go quietly. They they aren't going to be swept. As we have three one game score with three minutes and twenty eight seconds left to play. That's a minute over half of the game left, and it's three one. No idea. Need to make some adjustments here. But Brock will take this off the backboard. Get immediately dunked by Nex, and this overwhelming pressure from Knights has really landed them a bunch of goals. I mean, they've they've single-handedly equalized. Oh, and never mind. No idea has a goal. They're only down one goal in the series as of right now, and it's because they've scored three times in this one match. Yeah, no. Initially in those first games, you know, had literally heading into shot. this match, Great we were save. talking about that score differential. And now, as you said next level nights bringing it closer and closer you know oh. really worried oh not able to get the touch from brock but really worried about this next level nights team just seeing how much they haven't been able to score until now but three goals against the one no idea definitely has an uphill battle but at the end of the day it's only two goals you know especially with so much time left on the clock they have all the time in the world to just make that first initial play to make a breakthrough and then anything can happen as long as the ball stays in the air absolutely as knight will steal this one from next and, or not knight sorry scythe will steal this one from next and take it to the corner but Lev with a quick dunk out. Wave's trying to follow. We'll find the double tap. Pushing forward, trying to stay with this ball while I'll leave it for his teammate Scythe. Brock now forced to get a touch to this corner. Doesn't get the double. And now Knights with a little bit of pressure building. Knight, double tap off the ceiling. Reset acquired. Brock saves it to that left side as Waves will collect it and play it into a 50. Knight with that corner boost and a ball to play with, hit it into the corner, and an interesting touch from Level land that perfectly in the hands of Knight as he pops it over one, demos the other. Sykes just able to get back in time, and Lev trying to have that one wide. Waterfall down, won't quite go, but this is an opportunity, saved out by Waves, Brock now. To that left side, we challenged out by Nex. Waves, I mean, no idea. A lot of their uh, ball possession have been with members on their team with no boost. Has a great save from Scythe comes out right there. And oh no, Nex missed the ball. That could have been a goal. Oh, great save again. Scythe being an absolute brick wall on that goal line. As next level knights just continue to knock on this door. But no idea. Might just get away with it. Yep. Coming down this with only should start transitioning. Left. Only 45 seconds left. No idea really needs to start finding that first play. To, you know, they used to have all the time in the world, but now only nearly 30 seconds left. This play right here might be the most important one for this game, for this no idea team. But only putting They don't get a goal here. This game's all but over. Yeah, it's starting to look like the nail in the coffin. You know, the, the sand is just trickling down in that hourglass. 
Just starting to suffocate this team through and through. Beautiful bump coming out from Wave, setting Lev all the way to that orange eye of night, keeping him close. And as you said, you know, this position oh. coming out right for the left side, and that is beautiful placement. Beautiful play. Doesn't matter how much boost they have. I mean, just making it work with what they got. Absolutely great pass from Waves. Find Brock middle. Next, trying to make that save, just barely not able to reach it. And we'll go to kickoff. This is in the favors of no idea. Having a demo come out, Waves with that boost. Tries to pick it under left, but left, just going straight for the ball there. Six seconds left. Brock trying to keep this ball high. Coming off the ceiling, has a jump, but Knight blocks it. Good. Gonna bounce. Second left. Can he get there? It's still high in the air. Scythe getting bumped out from Knight. Knight just trying to be annoying. And Scythe can't find contact. And we go to game four. Oh, we. Oh, we. This has become a little more interesting, you could say, uh, with Next Level Knights turning it on for that game number three and bringing at least a... Uh, a game back so now it is 2-1 no idea to next level knights We're looking to get jumped right into game number four as next level knights will have to win this match to force a game five if they hope to win the series no Coming down to the kickoff, we're going to see who goes in favor for no idea. They definitely want us to just keep having those hot stars, trying to get those leads against this next level night team because we can see that next level Knights can run away with it and run away with it fast. This ball now going out to the right wall, Lev just waiting there. Takes a strong touch towards that, trying to get that dunk on Brock, but unable to do so. Brock, stay in the corner. Ball floating there in the midline. Scythe not able to get the feet out, gets dunked, waves. Last line of the fence as everyone starts rotating back. Now half the speed to work with. Gets the flick over, gets over two, but Lev there at the final end. Now 30 boost to work with, gets it over one. Trying to continue with this ball. Knight with the demo, but Lev not able to make that final contact. Now ball sitting there dangerously in the middle there. Knight keeping this pressure up, you know, next level Knight's specialty. Just keeping that ball in that back half, keeping it in that circle. And Max trying to find a shot, but Scythe able to get there. No boost to work with. Might be a pass out, but no. Last touch, last second from no idea. But next level Knight's not giving up the ball. We're not letting it just cross into this blue line. And if it does, it's only for half a second as next.